Hello again everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today, <laughs> it's a few weeks late admittedly, I got around to it though. Um, this is basically an open tag to uh, the five, your five best rough riders, okay, which I think was started by a big red uh, EDC, JB there. And uh, RJ, he, he kind of, RJ just kind of um, uh, forwarded it on even more. He kind of uh, added a uh, uh, got the ball rolling more yeah so it's a good open tag i wanted to respond to it a few weeks ago but just haven't had time been working hard anyway so here we go this is going to be difficult <laughs> i've probably had about 80 or 100 um rough riders originally but here we go uh right so this is okay this one okay this is an awesome knife okay this as you may know is the rough rider vg10 um Warncliffe, look at that. Is that not a thing of beauty? Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, VG10, which originally, case I think was originally uh, made in uh, Japan. Um, a lot of chef knives and things like that originally, like, um, it was a really premium top steel, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's become a great budget steel, so obviously, for the money now. It's just fantastic. It's a great steel. And it's got a hollow grind, super slicer, great for point work. Just that nice blue black um, aluminium, it's quite light, it's strong, lovely, lovely knife, okay. Um, but then of course, I had to, ch <laughs> there's this little puppy. And I mean, spring's coming and all that stuff and summer barbecues, boom, look at that. It's a lovely, I think this is great. It's a fantastic auxiliary knife when you're chopping up your, your meat or whatever. That, the uh, sous chef knife, yeah. But, I think for me, overall, look at that. Look at this. This, my Carter, the work knife, the Rough Rider work knife. Just fantastic. Absolutely lovely. Lovely Warncliffe blade. Yeah, all right, it's 448 steel, but nice blade, my Carter. I just, it's a little bit thicker. I just prefer the Warncliffe a little bit more. It's a bit more of a, a beta knife, yeah? If I had to choose, I'd probably go for this one more. It's just a bit more robust. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so it's not easy, guys. Not easy. Um, anyway, the point is, I'm going to go for. So I'm choosing. It's not easy, guys, but I'm going to choose this one. So this, I suppose, is my first of the five. <laughs> it's so not easy. Um, getting to the next one. Okay, right. Well, the half hawks. I like a half hawk. Okay, this is the coal miner. Fantastic. You got a nice little. It's a double blade. Look at that. Bang on down the middle. Pick and pinch and put it. Look at that. Lovely ram's foot there. Nice sway back. Good jigged bone there. Just really nice knife. Great. Another, and look, I'm a practical man here. Yeah. I've been a carpenter most of my life, but also trained as a plumber and also electrician and then became a teacher. Okay. So, you know, I teach building crafts, okay, uh, to students. The point is this. This knife, I'm a practical man, so for many years, so I'm the, I like practical knives, I like work knives, so that's the first thing I'm, I'm going to go for, um, and good value for money, work knives, EDCs, that's me, that's the first point of call I'm going to go for, um, but this was hard, guys, so let's put this here in it, but then there's this, of course, <laughs> same sort of nice little sway back, again, half hook, boom, but this is, of course, it's in a T10 carbon, fantastic, a little bit thinner, Got nice blue linings there, which makes it pop brass lining, sorry, and blue under linings. Nice micarta, lovely little pewter shield there. So, you know, that I'm going to go for instead. <laughs> this, this is so good. This is so good. But if I had to choose, it's this little puppy. Okay. Um, right, now next one, which lends itself onto another. I like whittling, guys. This is a nice whittler, again, in a T10. Okay, um, just <laughs> great EDC or great Whitler, of course it is. There you go, and then this is a nice rendition as well. Of course, some more Whitlers, the, the bone, the uh, cinnamon bone stag. But if I had to choose, if I had to choose, okay, um, it's not going to be these guys, it's not going to be these, it's going to be the small but mighty. This Whitler is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic for a first, uh, for a gift knife, a first knife, or someone starting out whittling, um, you know, a youngster, 
Um, it's fat, even an adult. Look at that. It's fantastic. Lovely jig bone there, that amber color bone with two nice little pe secondary pen blades. Okay. Little half stops, nice little snap. Just gorgeous. So this is, this is my, be my third one, I guess. Small but mighty. Absolutely fantastic. And then, of course, we've got the app to range, which I've reviewed recently. Okay. Look, look at that. Very similar. So that, isn't it? You can see the different, yeah, this is that same sort of thing. Um, but this, you can just, it's got, you can just pinch and pull. Boom, lovely snap. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, come on, guys. Fantastic EDC, just gorgeous. Oh, just lovely. Absolutely lovely. And then, of course, run out of space here. <laughs> Do you know what mean? Then, of course, this one. The copper, that lovely pattern that's already starting to take, which I haven't shipwrecked yet, but I will, of course. There you go, look at that. And then, of course, there's the Warncliffe, okay, my Carter, <laughs> which is gorgeous as well. Um, now, if I had to choose out of these three, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, I love them all, all three of them are nice, but it'll be this one, because it's a work knife, a great work knife. This will be a good heavy duty beater. It's also in VG10, guys. Um, it's just a bit more stout blade. This is my, probably out of all of these so far, it's probably my, the one I'd go to, okay, if I had to use a beater knife or something like that. These are all great knives. Um, this for as a secondary knife, okay, or Whitley knife. These two are two great work knives, okay. Um, and this is an exceptional hard use work knife. This is good EDCs, okay. Um, and then, if I had to choose the last one, this this Barlow is lovely. It's exceptional. Um, you know, if I had to choose, it'll be that. That'd be my fifth one. That is difficult, guys. Like I said, I had about 80 or 100 Rough Riders, and I've given so many away. Um, if, I mean, honourable mentions, honourable mentions, oh, look at this. <laughs> Just look, I love Native, Native American patterns. It reminds me of the Stoneworks as well, which I've got put away. I, don't, well, I was going to get some out, one or two out, but yeah, I've got to get some. Just lovely, a little bit of a light pull, but just the old Southwest pattern, just lovely. Still haven't, oh God, it's about two years old. And of course, there's this one as well. I bought this about two years ago as well. <laughs> Stroke of luck. I just love not only the um, stuff and, you know, the uh, writing on a blade and all that stuff, it's just the work that's gone on it. Lovely, deep green bone. Uh, look at the bolsters there. And of course, I've got Irish in me. Um, my grandmother was from Balanai in Mayo, so um, some generations ago. But, you know, I've got about 25, 30% Irish in me, whatever. So there's that. Um, again, honourable mentions, this puppy, and this is a very good example. It's a great sample. Blade centering, bang on down the middle. Nice, even uh, coverings there, okay. Nicely done. It looks quite authentic. Just lovely. There you go. And it's a single, I, I just like single blades, as you know, most of you guys. I don't often get double bladed barlows, um, just single blades with, um, you know, that's just me, okay? Again, another one. Um, it's a fantastic first knife, um, a gifty knife or something for a small um, young person, a young uh, man or uh, lady. Just a, <laughs> look at that, cowboy. Cool, bro. just fantastic. Just fantastic. And then chasing, there you go, look, chasing the cows, rustling the cows. Um, yeah, not rustling them, obviously lassoing them, well, I mean. <laughs> In brass, just a lovely, lovely knife. Of course, I mean, we could talk about queen and marbles and things like that. Um, like this little puppy, look at that sawbuck cut bone. Absolutely lovely, that lovely warm cliff. Because, of course, queen... Um, who are now under the umbrella of Rough Rider, as is Marbles, which are all under the same bigger umbrella of Smoky Mountain Knife Works, okay? It's a bit like we could say um, a Volkswagen. You know, you've got parts Audi, Seat, and Skoda. Basically, most of those uh, three makes, about 70, 80% of them is all Volkswagen parts. So it's the Volkswagen Corporation. It's the same thing. It's a big business, guys. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, you know, did you shout out to Paddy? That Congress he's got is absolutely stunning. And that doctor's knife. Um, Jersey, you know, Pete, that cophead rifle man <laughs> is awesome, buddy. I, ne I definitely need to get myself a rifle man. Um, just that checkered uh, bone. It's just gorgeous, yeah. A uh, Rick with that Boca Barlow is nice. And that toad tickler, I call it. Because in case any young uh, young people watching this, I don't want to say anything else. Toe tickler, right? We'll just call it that. That's a unique piece for sure, yeah? Um, and RJ, that sunfish. Man alive, that's nice. I need to get a sunfish. Absolutely gorgeous. But for me, these are my noise. These are my top five guys for now. And see all those, the ones I just mentioned, the shout outs I've given you. Um, and there's a few others I could go on. Tobias, loving the outdoorsman and the arrowhead and the stonework series. Absolutely gorgeous. He's got loads. And um, just the things he's got, just absolutely lovely. He's got he's got my favorite collection, I think, um, in Rough Riders, I think I've seen so far. Um, anyway, top five. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Do you agree? Put it in the comments. <laughs> okay. All right. Take care, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.